Okay, I've been uh, texted some questions. Okay. Can fear of sex and vulnerability be mistaken as spiritual detachment? So can fear of sex and vulnerability be mistaken as spiritual detachment? So this was one of the questions I was sent. Fear of sex, well I guess what he's refer uh, referring to there is like some people avoid life uh, and do spiritual work and just sit in a cave and think they're spiritual. Uh, that they've tra probably transcended sex and, and everything. So sex and vulnerability <coughs> and, and mista uh, be mistaken as spiritual time. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, so fear if you, if, you haven't, if you have a fear of sex, then you haven't transcended sex because you're having a dualistic positionality around sex. So it's something you're trying to avoid. Um, <coughs> so you haven't transcended it because it's something that hasn't been... The polarity of it, like it being either an attraction or aversion, you're not in a place of neutrality or, or witnessing around it. So then it would be like, um, so you could theoretically think you're spiritually evolved, but really be holding a heavy emotional uh, dualistic position within the consciousness. So, um, and then... Uh, yeah, so that would be like a, 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 an unresolved fear. So definitely that, that can be the case. So let me just read that again. Can fear of sex and vulnerability? Yes, I'm sure. Well, you know, <clears throat> I mean, you know, on, but it can also be transcended, you know, like people often go to monasteries um, to get close to God or go and join a, you know, a monk order or something or become a nun. And that is a way of getting close, I mean, you could get close to God or you might not get close to God doing that, you know. You could be just feeling very sexually repressed and not resolve those issues <coughs> in a monastery and still have things where you, which is disconnecting you from God. So you didn't really escape it just by trying to be celibate in a uh, monastery. But, you know, that would be uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. But if there was... Um, you know, it'd be one, you'd have to speak to the person if they were really charged up uh, with fear around sex, then you'd say there might be some work to be done to transcend that. 